Hi students. So today I am going to explain how to determine the radius of the given wire using the screw gauge. Screw gauge is a device. It has two scales. One is your main scale or your pitch scale, and we have a circular scale. The circular scale we can rotate. Okay. So in the main scale, the separation between the lines, each line is in the millimeter. The separation between each line is in the millimeter. Main scale or pitch scale. The circular scale it has hundred divisions. It starts from zero here. It starts from zero here and with hundred. So if I rotate one circular scale here, listen. If I rotate one circular scale rotation here, there is a motion of one reading in a a main scale. So to get one main scale. Uh, moment, I have to rotate one complete a uh, circular scale motion. So in the circular scale, we have a totally hundred divisions. First, I will teach you what is meant by a least count. So least count is nothing but so the pitch scale reading divided by total number of divisions on the circular scale. So what is meant by least count? Least count is nothing but the minimum value we can measure using this apparatus. So pitch, the pitch, the number of our the distance between the the minimum distance between the two lines is is millimeter. So I can simply write this is going to be one millimeter divided by total number of divisions in the circular scale. I can simply write it as hundred. This is equals to zero point zero one millimeter. So we are able to find. Zero. We can. We are able to find up to 0.01 millimeter using this screw gauge, right? Next, I'll teach you what is meant by uh, error in the apparatus. See, if I if I close this knob here, I have to rotate up to this sound. We should not rotate using this. We have to rotate using this one, and we have to rotate up to this sound. If you are rotating more, what's happening? Your radius of the given material may change. Okay. So now, here, listen carefully. This line should exactly coincide with the zero. So there is no error in this apparatus, right? There is no error in this apparatus. Listen carefully. So your main scale reading. This is my main scale R pitch. Scale reading. This is your pitch scale, and this is your H scale or circular scale. So this zero should exactly coincide with the pitch scale. So which means there is no error in this apparatus. Okay. In case in some apparatus because of the uh, uh, because of some error, so there should be. There is no coincidence between this line as well as this line, right? So in those apparatus, in case we have a uh, apparatus with, I uh, have a line. This is my pitch scale drawing, and this is the circular scale. If you are zero, maybe here. This may be some five. One, two, three, four, five. So actually, this zero should be. Exactly coincides with the pitch scale reading, but my zero in the downtrend. So this is called your positive error. So you are plus five reading here, right? That's why it's called your positive error. What is my positive error in this case? My zero error, zero error is plus five. So if there is a error, I have to correct this. So I can simply write zero correction equals to minus five. Okay. So next, uh, in case I have another situation, so my pitch scale reading be here. So this is my circular scale reading. My zero may be here. This is going to be what five. One, two, three, four, five. So now. You are in negative five. Actually, this is not five. This is going to be what ninety-five because the total number of divisions in the circular scale is going to be hundred, right? So I can simply write now in this case, this is called your negative 
error so in this case my zero error is equal to minus 5 and then zero correction equals to plus 5 so in the given apparatus we may have a error or may not, we may not have the error so in this apparatus there is no error isn't or there is error there is an error of what minus 1 because your 0 line is not exactly coincided with the the main scale reading so we have a error of negative 0 is the 0 is the above 0 is the above the main scale reading right so here in this device I can simply write the 0 error equals to minus 1 therefore my correction is going to be 0 correction is going to be what plus 1 right in this apparatus we have a error of minus 1 listen carefully again I am telling you this line your 0 is above the this line is it is going to be negative error this 0 is less than this main scale reading then it is called your positive 0 error ok so now I am going to explain how to determine this is my 0 0.01 millimeter discount up ok so now I am going to explain the table pitch scale I have to write here and H scale here and this is the column for the, the corrected H scale reading after correction of this 0 error here and then we have a total scale reading my total scale reading is nothing but pitch scale reading plus corrected H scale reading into least count sir why are taking the read multiplication with the uh, corrected H scale reading means there is a error on my circular scale there is no error on my main scale so you have to correct the reading here and then multiply with your least count first I am going to start with this so here I am going to place my wire here listen Tuck. so once you get this sound you should not move from here onwards ok so this here see this is see here here in main scale reading I am not getting anything which means it is going to be 0 only ok 0 in my pitch scale reading or main scale reading I am getting only 0 right 0 but the circular scale reading I am getting what ma 49 so I can simply take it as going to be circular scale head scale reading as circular scale reading by 49 listen carefully again I am telling you this is 49 so already there is an error in my apparatus is minus 1 if you want to correct this 0 error I have to add this so 49 actually I plus it to be 50 so pitch scale reading 0 plus 50 into least count what is my least count ra? 0 0.01 millimeter so this is going to be 0 0.5 millimeter so the diameter of the wire in this case the diameter of the wire given wire is going to be 0 0.5 millimeter so in the next case I suppose to give some another example I suppose consider this refill so I just want to find the diameter of this given refill so I am going to place here again using the same screw gauge so if I place this here so once the sound is you should not ok up to this tick sound you have to rotate your circular scale so now listen carefully here we have a 1 2 3 so we are able to see up to the third line ok so now my pitch scale or main scale is going to be 3 
okay we are able to see up to the third line and then here this is 90 okay this is going to be what circular circle is going to be 90 okay so 90 means already there is a error so i have to correct my reading of the circular scale i can simply write uh this is going to be 91 so if we substitute this values in the total scale reading we have pitch scale reading 3 plus corrected head scale reading is 91 into least count 0.01 millimeter so the total value is going to be what 3.91 millimeter so the approximately the diameter of the given refill is 3.9 millimeter okay if you want to find the radius of the given refill i have to divide this by 2 okay so if you want to if you, if you want to find the radius of the, the accurate value of uh, the diameter of the given refill like a, i have to take different readings in the different position vector so here and here and here so in for if you are taking the average value we are taking at least five readings one one reading here one reading here one reading here one reading here if i taking at least five reading the error of the observation will reduce your accuracy level will get increases so if you are measuring any apparatus or any <coughs> any apparatus at least you have to take 3 to 5 readings to get the more accurate value using this apparatus so i just stop at this point if you like this video share it with your friends and subscribe our channel to get the regular updates thanks for watching